Okay, let's look at another example of a weak acid ionization. In this example, I'm gonna show you something called the simplifying assumption. Okay, so here's the problem. It says the initial concentration of of parahydroxybenzoic acid which we are just going to call HA is 0 0.200 molar. What is the pH at this concentration? We'll just say what is the pH? Okay, so parahydroxybenzoic acid, don't know what that, we don't need to know the formula for that, it doesn't matter. All we know is that parahydroxybenzoic acid is not a, um, one of the six strong acids, so we know it's a weak acid. Um, also given to us in the problem is the Ka 2.6 times 10 to the negative 5. Knowing the Ka also tells us this is a weak acid because only weak acids have Ka's. The reason that we care is because if this is a strong acid, it does not exist in equilibrium. We don't have to do any equilibrium chemistry to solve. If it is a weak acid, we do because it does exist in equilibrium. So just make sure you're always thinking through that logic when you're getting the problems because on an exam, it's not going to be labeled as what type of problem it is. That's part of the problem is identifying what type of calculation you're going to need to do. Okay, so let's just write the generic weak acid ionization, HA, in this case, parahydroxybenzoic acid, plus water is in equilibrium with A minus, which is aqueous, the conjugate base, and H3O plus, the conjugate acid of water. So there's my reaction. And the question says the initial concentration is 0 0.200 molar. Remember, we don't start out with any products at the beginning of this. Water is a pure substance. It's not included in the equilibrium table. So now let's finish writing the table. This is minus x, 0 0.200 minus x, plus x, plus x, x, x. So the problem tells me that the Ka is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 5. So let's write that out. 2.6 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x times x over 0 0.200 minus x. So here we are. Remember we use this equilibrium row to write the Ka because remember the Ka, this is the Equilibrium expression for weak acids, so we want to know what are the equilibrium conditions for this weak acid. So this essentially is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x squared over 0 0.200 minus x. So this is where we can use something called the simplifying assumption. Because when we get to this point, we recognize this is not a perfect square. I would have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So this is kind of a little bit of a cheat to tell you if x is negligible or not. And what I mean by negligible is I don't mean is x zero, I mean is this x so small that 0 0.200 minus x is still gonna equal 0.200. If this x is like 1 times 10 to the negative 10th, then 0 0.200 minus 1 times 10 to the negative 10th is still going to be 0 0.200, in which case we could just get rid of this x in the denominator and not have to do the quadratic formula. That is what is meant by this simplifying assumption. So the way that we do the simplifying assumption, whoops, simplifying assumption, 
is we look at the ratio of the initial concentration of the weak acid to the Ka. Initial concentration of the weak acid, that's what this little zero means. I'm just gonna write that out. Initial concentration of the weak acid. We're gonna look at the initial concentration of the weak acid over the Ka. And if this number is greater than 500, then you can assume X is negligible. And the X that I'm talking about being negligible is this X not these X's. Essentially what we're doing is we're seeing is the magnitude of this X gonna be so small that it's not gonna affect this number here, in which case we could get rid of this X in the denominator and not have to mess around with the quadratic formula. That's all this is. If you love the quadratic formula and you wanna do the quadratic formula every single time you get a problem like this, you are more than welcome to do so. You will get the right answer. This is just a quick check to see if you can skip that step by just getting rid of this X altogether. So let's see what that looks like. So HA, the initial concentration of the weak acid, 0 0.200 divided by the Ka, 2.6 times 10 to the negative five equals 7,000 692. And this is not an important number. This is just showing us the magnitude of this. This number is greater than 500. So yes, we can assume X is negligible. It doesn't mean X is zero. It means this X is so small that 0 0.200 minus x will still be 0 0.200 minus x. So what I mean is, let's pretend x is one times 10 to the negative 10th. So let's say what's 0 0.200 minus one times 10 to the negative 10th? It's still 0 0.200 with three significant figures because this number is so small that it doesn't affect this. The reason that we do this is to avoid having to do the quadratic formula. I will be using the simplifying assumption every time I can. If this ratio is less than 500, that means that whatever X is, is going to affect this and we can't use it. So anytime that this is available, you will see me working this out and seeing if I can use it or not. Um, Again, if you would prefer to use a quadratic formula, you are totally welcome to do that. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna say that X is negligible. So the way that I do that is I'm gonna say 2.6 times 10 to the negative five equals X squared over 0 0.200. Now I've gotten rid of that X. Now I don't have to do the quadratic formula to solve. I can just move this stuff around and then take the square root of both sides We'll say 2.6 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0.2 is 5.2 times 10 to the negative sixth equals x squared. I'll take the square root of both sides and get 0 0.00 2.00228, so I'll say 0.023, 1, 2, 3, or you could say 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. So that is X. So again, when we were talking about equilibrium in chapter 14, sometimes when people get to the end of a problem like this, 
they get an answer for X and then they think, great, I did it. I solved the problem, I solved for X. The question doesn't ask, what is X? The question asks, what is the pH? So what we just did was we just solved for X. We said X is 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. So how are we gonna solve for the pH from X? Well, X is the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium. We need the hydronium ion concentration to solve for the pH. So the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium is 2.3 times 10 to the negative third molar. Now that's what we're gonna to use to solve for the pH. pH equals the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. Negative log of 2.3 times 10 to the negative third is 2.64, we'll say. Remember, because this has two significant figures, your pH needs to have two decimal places. pH equals 2.64. So there is another example of how to use an equilibrium table to solve for the pH. Essentially, we were solving for X, which was the hydronium ion concentration, and then we can use the hydronium ion concentration to solve for X. Again, the simplifying assumption is something that is meant to make your life easier. If this is more confusing or stressful to you than it's worth, don't worry about it. I will use it because it prevents us from having to use the quadratic formula when you are gonna get the same answer anyways, because X is so small.